But I got these crazy ideas that maybe I could be a contractor. Crazy. And I thought, well, maybe someday I could build a 7-Eleven or a duplex. So I began to think about it over the kitchen table, trying to draw things, and decided that might be a little bit big of a jump. So because the economy was so strong, I started a small little curb gutter and sidewalk company. And they couldn't find enough people and enough things, and I would sign the proposals with my initials, LG, and I would take them in, of course, because I was the secretary taking them in, and was able to get work and recruited some guys, crazy guys, to come work for me. And that was the beginning or the foundation of the company. Uh, later on, I'm thinking, oh, I can build high-rises. Not that quickly, but the first structures I actually built were bus shelters that people stand in to stay out of the rain while they're waiting for the transit uh, line or the bus to come. Concrete, pre, pre, uh, prefabbed things, but I could only do 20 at a time because of cash and cash flow. Over time, I ended up doing 380 of them and wanted to move to bigger things and proceeded by approaching general contractors, trying to price it, not just competitively trying to get in the door, but I would tell them, you gotta be creative if you're trying new things, particularly if you're a woman. Uh, if you buy the concrete, you'll save 15% markup, okay? You're gonna save money. If you pay me every two weeks, we can do this. And of course, at first they're saying, oh my God, you know, can we trust her? Over time, that's how I was able to do it. Later, um, as we grew, I couldn't get any bigger unless I had capital, cash and cash flow. And um, that was difficult. Um, I. Uh, like other women, were trying to get loans and you had to dress the part. You were trying to dress so people would say, she's serious, she's in business. So no matter what industry you were in, you put your tie on, whether it was, well tie or not, you had to go in with the tie and always with the dress with the time. So I went to six banks to try to get loans. They all turned me down. I don't know why they didn't have confidence in a young uh, Hispanic woman contractor. They said, you have no collateral. I tried to pledge my children and they told me, no, 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 they're really liabilities, not assets. I know that now. Um, and women could not get loans without either their husband's or their father's signature. And my husband and my father were neither in the business. What my parents did without telling me though is they mortgaged their two room, not two bedroom, two room adobe house. <laughs> at not a bank, but somewhere for 21% interest and they borrowed $2,800 without telling me. <sighs> it scared me, it was a gift. I repaid them, but I'll never be able to repay them for having confidence in me that I can succeed. Um, I later found out that even if you're turned down by banks, the Small Business Administration had a program that was a 90% guaranteed if you couldn't get a loan. Of course, there was a lot of uh, paperwork with it, but there's ways to find things to get it done, but there's always going to be a risk. You know, I was told uh, that the banks did not have confidence in me because uh, lack of track record, okay, financials, um, experience, are you crazy kinds of things. And so always questioning ability in that regard. And the reality is that it wasn't really their lack of perspective. It was the lack of women trying and like, to break through the glass ceiling, in my case, I'm trying to break through the concrete ceiling, and it's going to be a lot harder to get there. Definitely in concrete. <laughs> the, the reason, um, I was always told, uh, I, would pro I would propose, and I'd go in for debriefs, which are very painful, because they tell you why you didn't get the project and everything that was wrong. So it reinforced that 
lack of track record, uh, financial take me stronger, number of years in business, and the biggest one I ever had was I was the only woman who had ever submitted a proposal. And um, he leaned over the desk and said to me, does your mother know you're doing this? And well, it seemed like a crazy question, it really motivated me to say, my mother does know I'm doing this, and one day I'm going to let you know that why I'm doing this. And it, while it was a joke to myself, when you experience constant rejection, you want to get up. And if for no other reason, uh, I wanted to show them that I could do something. And the reality is, it wasn't like me against them. There were other women who were wondering, why was I doing this? You shouldn't be doing this, that, and the other. We have to be careful that other people's lack of vision does not cloud our perspective in keeping focused on achieving our goals and dreams. Was it easy? No. When I started business, I thought I was selling construction services. I had to sell credibility, capability, capacity, and I couldn't do it.